So, are you okay with Janet Yellen telling you what you can and can't do with your crypto? Well, that's at the heart of what's being discussed right now, as a new must-pass bill contains provisions that would give the Treasury unlimited powers to prohibit and block crypto exchanges. And of course, after last year's infrastructure bill debacle, where anti-crypto laws were introduced, cryptocurrency supporters have to be vigilant and to be able to keep the freedom of cryptocurrency alive and well. So let's talk about what's going on in this bill, what it really means, and what you need to know. Welcome to Ready Set Crypto. This is your brain on blockchain. So today there was an FOMC meeting regarding keeping interest rates low and some other news about the SEC investigating crypto exchanges. But really the big news today was around the America Competes Act, which has just been filed in Congress. Now the bill on the surface seems to make the US more competitive against China, but hidden deep in its 2,900 pages, the bill contains a provision to give the treasury an unlimited ability to prohibit and block crypto transactions. You see, under the proposed framework, the treasury secretary, who is currently Janet Yellen, now, she'd be able to employ the Bank Secrecy Act to require certain financial institutions to report information around transactions potentially connected to money laundering, as well as prohibit them from serving account holders with alleged ties to illicit funds. Now, the thing to know is that this provision and the changes that it proposes, well, this would essentially bypass the existing checks and balances on the Treasury Secretary and their authority in this area. And that's because currently the Treasury cannot make unilateral decisions to block crypto transactions without a formal notice and a public process as well as give a 120 day period of challenge for any decision they make. But under the new bill, the treasury can make decisions without any formal process based solely on its own apprehensions. Essentially, they are judge, jury, and executioner, making Yellen judge, jury, and executioner of crypto transactions and crypto exchanges. She could quickly order blocking of any transaction or exchange without any review process or administrative controls. And again, this gives the treasury unchecked control over all crypto exchanges and transactions. A very scary prospect. Something else to note is that this language was already included in a bill from last year, but there was opposition and it was removed. Of course, now that the crypto market is sold off and some people are questioning its legitimacy or advocating that it's dangerous, well, of course, it's now been snuck into a new must pass bill. I mean, the very idea of sneaking in such clauses which radically impact crypto into a bill of 2,900 pages of incomprehensible regulations just really smells bad. And I think the ironic thing is that this is included in the America Competes Act, which as a whole is trying to make America more competitive against China. But this bill, if it includes this new language that is very anti-crypto, well, that would help the US compete with China not on economic growth and innovation, but on denying citizens due process and human rights. So in summary, this provision hands the Treasury Secretary unchecked discretion to forbid financial institutions, including cryptocurrency exchanges, from offering their customers access to cryptocurrency networks. Now, the secretary may not use this discretion immediately, but having unchecked power is not a sort of power that the department should have. These checks and balances exist for a reason. And this is the position and takeaway from the Coin Center article, which many people are citing on this topic. But I think before the FUD gets out of control, let's look at this from a different perspective. What this provision really does is it provides the Treasury the ability to block specific cross-border transactions when reasonable grounds exist to conclude that the transaction is for money laundering purposes. What's important to note is that this same provision already exists for fiat currency. It just expands it to include cryptocurrency because the US government is never going to allow people to use crypto for things that they've already deemed illegal with fiat, period. You know, the US government, in order to properly integrate and regulate cryptocurrency into its financial system, doesn't want it used for things like buying drugs, funding terrorism, money laundering, etc. So I encourage you to read the proposed legislation, which I've linked down below. Don't just read the news articles. What you'll find is that this provision adds crypto as a transaction type that can be prohibited on specific transactions and accounts by the Financial Crimes and Enforcement Network, or FinCEN. It's not something that can be blanketly applied to crypto as a whole. So everyone who's jumping on the bandwagon of, I knew they were going to come after my crypto, and while they have very good reasons for feeling that way, 
What they need to realize is that this is actually a step in the direction of legitimizing crypto. And I think it's a really good response for the people who have the position that crypto is only used for illicit activities. You know, people like Janet Yellen. And under this new provision, it's now the equivalent of saying that the laws that exist for the dollar regarding illegal activity now also exist for crypto. In other words, the government is agreeing that crypto is money and needs to be treated the same as fiat currency. That's a big deal. You know, one of the biggest things holding crypto back over the last couple of years is that it was in this legal and regulatory gray zone. And while on the surface, I agree that this provision looks very scary. It's very sketchy that it's getting snuck into this regulation like this. And the dinosaur regulator that's pushing this forward is a former Goldman Sachs banker. But I think there are some really good reasons for this to be coming to light right now. And hopefully it's clear that looking at both sides of this, there are very legitimate reasons for and against this right now. What this should be is a discussion. We should acknowledge that this is potentially a step forward for the space, but also potentially a step back. No one person should have unilateral control over crypto, especially one that is publicly anti-crypto and has stated multiple falsehoods about crypto in the past. But that being said, to move crypto forward, there needs to be common sense regulations in place. So what do you think? Do you think this should be shot down or do you think this should be explored further? Let's have an informed discussion in the comments below. And if you feel strongly about this, either for or against, make sure to contact your congressman if you're in the US, because no matter what, even if an aggregate, this is positive for crypto, which I'm not saying that it is, we should still have this be a public discussion. There should be public discourse on this rather than having this passed at the 11th hour as basically a footnote in a much larger bill. So let's see how this develops because crypto is at such an inflection point right now. We need it to be treated legitimately, but at the same time, especially right now, we can't let fear dictate this space especially when crypto is such a solution for so many people out there and will continue to be needed in the years to come. But as always, thanks so much for watching and thanks for being a part of the Ready Set Crypto community. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button below. But until the next one, take care out there. Cheers.